Hello there, beautiful human. Thank you so much for clicking on our conversation with P1 Harmony. They got a bunch of new music out, including this guy. Do it like this. The English version. We have a lot to discuss with them. I'm so excited to get to know these guys. Uh, please soak in the conversation and leave your honest feedback in the comment section below. While you're down there, you hit like. And you should know that all of our interviews with all of your favorites, they live first on a brand new radio app called Amp. We are reimagining radio, like totally reimagining it. And anybody can make radio with AMP, but we're there every day hanging out with your faves. If you want to join us, link in the description below. Okay, P1 Harmony, let's go. Hello, beautiful human. My name is Zach. That is Dan, and we welcome to the studio... P1 Harmony. Oh, sorry. We'll do our introduction. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. One more time. One more time. We didn't know that. We jumped on the gun. Okay, we'll do it again. Introducing us to reset plus everything. Hello, we are P1 Harmony. Woo! Hey, I like that. <laughs> Sir. That was so nice. Thank you. Thank you very much. Like, there is a thrill when you hit that every time, right? Because, like, there's there, there's rehearsals that goes right. into just the introduction. Yeah. Just you saying hello to somebody. Right. It is. Because it, it has to be in sync. The first time we did it, it was very, like, hectic because we are like, oh, pl- uh, pl- 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 and, like <laughs> and then sometimes we have to do, there's the Korean version, there's the English version, and sometimes we get that mixed up. I was kind of scared, actually, just now for a second, someone might speak Korean. But, um... Uh-huh. Telepathic. Can we hear the Korean version? Yeah. Oh. Hangul yeah, version. No yeah, problem. Introducing us to set plus everything. 안녕하세요, P1 하원입니다. Sick. It's a little different, but we always like mix it up sometimes. Well, can we go around introduce yourself to everybody? Please? Yes. Yeah. Great. Mm-hmm. My name is Kyo. I'm the leader and um the english speaker <laughs> of the group and you're a canadian yes i'm canadian whoa oh how do you know that i mean the internet uh, what whoa <laughs> yeah i'm from toronto so toronto is a great city yeah. yeah hi guys this is in talk yeah i'm from korea <laughs> <laughs> Not Canada. nice to meet you everyone hi guys this is jiu uh thank you for having us at zach Zeng show let's have fun tonight uh today sorry <laughs> this we should day. have fun at any moment of the day. Exactly. Uh, moment, Honestly. Like morning to night. Hello, this is Jones Up. I'm the youngest member and the rapper of the group. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Yo. Hi, I'm Theo. Nice to meet you. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hi, I'm so, yeah, I'm Japanese and you. Godzilla? Godzilla? Oh, Godzilla. Oh, yeah, baby yeah. Godzilla. I love Godzilla. Yeah, well, this is like a Godzilla baby hybrid. Oh. <laughs> Don't we look alike? <laughs> what is that? It's my child. It's a baby. Oh. Oh. So beautiful. I was just about to say it was very scary, but I'll take that back. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take that thought. Yeah, back. he's mine. I created very him. Very cute. You made it? No, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, whoa. Well, I don't, I'm not that crafty. But I, have the, I don't have the crafty ability to cut off a baby doll's head and stick uh, it I would have been very head. impressed. Are you ready? Hold on. Yeah. This might be alarming, but. Oh, wow. Oh, oh wow. This is oh, action. something's coming. Oh, ta da. Oh. It's like awesome. Scooby Doo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, when they catch the. Oh, yeah. The, they, yeah, they, they catch the guy the every off. time and they're yeah. always looking a mask off. Sorry, I don't know. That was the first thing that came to mind. No, it made, that made sense. <laughs> yeah. Um, Anyway, we have a lot of stuff to discuss. Exactly. Thank you guys so much for being here. No, thank you no. for having us. So you guys are really fascinating for a bunch of different reasons. Wait, well, hold on. Are you wearing matching shoes? We are. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Yeah. Who made that de- like who made that decision? And do you always wear matching shoes? Not always, but definitely it depends on the outfit we're wearing. It's a shout out to our visual team and our stylists. <laughs> this is like actually our um our performance clothes so we yeah right we've been on stage with these clothes on before Mm -hmm. out in korea oh wow yeah and so we just wanted to show you sick so do you wear sneakers on stage strategically because like obviously there's a lot of choreography there's a lot of movement Mm -hmm. oh yeah um definitely we prefer sneakers but we're not always worn like we're always we're sometimes wearing like 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 chunky shoes and like like What's kudu in English? Um, yeah, like loafer. Like loafers and loafer, very uncomfortable yeah. shoes too. But today is a very, you know, a comfortable day. Will you do numerous outfit changes during a show? Oh yeah. Whoa! Like how fast do you have to get changed? 그 옷 갈아입을 때 이제 토할 때 이제 옷 갈아입어야 되잖아. 한 번에 옷 갈아입을 때 얼마나 빨리 옷 갈아입어야 되는지 궁금하시죠? No. 
maybe around three minutes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> three yeah. or four. Wow. You're running back so you're taking everything off and like <laughs> yeah. there's like people on you like doing makeup and hair and like it's just crazy. It's hectic. sweating. But that's what makes it fun. I mean, yeah, because it, it is exhilarating, right? There yeah. is like a little bit of a rush, uh -huh. a little bit, a big rush, and then there's like a risk, like maybe you won't make it. But then like yeah. there's a high when you do. Exactly. Uh -huh. Exactly. And sometimes they're like next song's already playing, you have to run on stage and like sometimes <laughs> it's like really just like really really hectic you just wrapped up a massive tour like Thank like you, yeah. like a massive massive tour what, what have you what, what do you learn from this experience the tour is a very big tour you can learn from this tour how much you learn from this tour wow in Taiwan um i i think this first tour was i learned about so many experience mm -hmm. yeah 되게 많은 걸 배우게 됐고 mm -hmm. 그리고 또 다음 투어를 하면서도 또 어떤 점들을 또뭘 배웠는데 근데 어 uh, I learn about like like show sense mm. <laughs> like fan sense mm. yeah yeah he, I yeah. think he's trying to say because it it is our first <coughs> time it was our first tour ever and also because we did debut during Corona we yeah. weren't able to perform in front of an audience that often and that it was not an easy thing to do. And so he felt like, especially being in front of stage, in front of our fans, he was able to kind of just get that, like, you know, stage manner and, like, mannerisms and, like, how to perform yeah. on stage, how to communicate with the fans and stuff like that, which mm -hmm. is something very useful for I mean, all of us. Was this last tour, like, genuinely, like, your first time, like, on stage, on stage as a group performing live? Because you're right, you did debut during mm -hmm. COVID, which right. is, uh, and you debuted in a really unique way. You debuted with a movie first. Right, yes. Right. What did you imagine your debut to be like? Mm. Oh, right. Like if COVID wasn't a thing, like you must right. have had that dream in your brain. Uh, the COVID 이제 안에서 이제 데뷔하게 됐는데, 근데 COVID 아니었으면 어떤 식으로 데뷔했었을 거 아니야? 어떻게 성장을 했는지 궁금하시대. I thought, I thought we could be a like tour all around the world, make like meeting all around the world, like every foreign fans. Mm -hmm. And having tour a lot, and and have a stage with the audience, but yeah, it wasn't able to mm -hmm. do it. So like, sad. Obviously, we did do a lot of stages in Korea because there's like music programs out yeah. in Korea that happens like every single day of the week. But um, there was always no audiences. Yeah, it's different. Yeah, yeah it's, it's not the same. Yeah, it yeah. is. Yeah. It's like just kind of like performing in front of cameras. So. Yeah, there's no. I mean, there is energy, but it's a different. It's not nearly as infectious or motivating mm -hmm. as the energy of being in. Like yeah. a venue, yeah, of yeah. course. It's fun, but you know, we've always wanted to have an audience. But so, did your debut live up to your expectations or what you dreamed of? Is a croque is a hammer or is it from a debut? Got bunga, they got kidea monk and bunga kitchen kitchen that over there. Ah, uh, bunga de kidea monk and tenya. I am a taran is a corona de tevia sink on. Like, I think. Um, 기대에 미쳤냐? 내 기대에 미쳤는지? Mm -hmm. Ah, like, like when I was younger, I really wanna like perform on the stage. Like, yeah, 만 만족했어. Mm -hmm. 나는 그냥 무대 약간 무대에 서고 싶어서 어쨌든 mm -hmm. 이 일을 시작한 거니까 mm -hmm. 그래가지고 나는 일단 okay. 음악 방송 무대에 서고 그러는 것도 되게 uh, 재밌었던 것 같아. So Chongseop said that you know. Obviously, it was good to have it's good to have fans, but his dream, his one goal was just to perform on stage. So even though he wasn't able to perform in front of people at the very beginning, just the fact that he was performing on stage and singing his own songs was enough. Was enough, yeah. That's awesome. Made That's him satisfied. Cool. <clears throat> Whose idea, like the movie, like is there? How does that come about? And also, <laughs> like, what do you think? Because uh, it was a movie about you guys. Yes, it is. It's about like our kind of story and like how, you know, like our background story and what we want to like express and, you know, say in our music and our message. And it's kind of like just the background story. And it's kind of, they kind of made it into like a sci-fi, like action and like fantasy type film. And honestly, for us originally, we didn't know we were going to do a movie either. Like it wasn't, it wasn't our plan, but literally like what had happened was our company was like, hey, like it'd be so cool if we make, made a movie and just like kind of like, made it like metaphorically like what we were trying to talk about in our music mm -hmm. just so people can like get a little insight of who we are and so we're like okay but we don't know how to act 
<laughs> they were like, we just learned how to dance and sing yeah, to perfection. Exactly. Like we like danced and sing for like what three, four years, and now you want us to act out of nowhere. And so we did acting lessons and like action school lessons for like two, three months. Wow. And then we filmed the movie. It was yeah. it was crazy, but it was so honoring because so many great actors and actresses were in the movie as well that we really look up to, and um, it was a good experience because it was our first time ever being in front of a camera and stuff like that. So it was very awkward at first and the script was in Korean and I wasn't good at Korean and like mm-hmm. like it was just really awkward and like really weird, but it was a very very fun experience. I mean, once you like rise to the occasion of becoming an action mm-hmm. actor, superstar, movie star, yeah. you can kind of almost do anything. I mean, exactly. that's not like heart surgery or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> a little yeah. bit, a yeah. little bit. You can't be a doctor, but you yeah. could. I mean, that's like a that's an amazing thing to accomplish. Yeah, I know a movie. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. like literally, yeah, right. right away. Like even before we released music, like a music, a movie is like already under our belt. Like that's crazy. But also, like it, it was interesting because it gave people an idea of who who you guys are mm-hmm. and what they're in store for and mm-hmm. the story that they're going to be along for the journey of. Yes, exactly. It's really cool. Made it more interesting to say the least. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Totally. Totally, totally. Mm. You guys want to do a follow-up movie, or is it kind of one and done? Mm, oh. if, if our fans want to, <laughs> want us to do, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and they want it. They want it. Yeah, they, they want do. It. A lot. But I feel like if we did film another one, it would be a lot better. Because at the beginning, we we're all like so awkward, and we we're like, right. oh, how do we do this? But now it's like, yeah, you did it already. Yeah, yeah. come on. Listen to a movie. <laughs> it's another one. I think I'm down. Oh, I think we'd be good. Now, you mentioned that like you weren't great at Korean. Yeah. So was that a learning curve? Like I, I am fascinated. Like how did you from Toronto make your way to Korea to become a K-pop star? Honestly, it's a really crazy story because I never really planned on doing it. Like it was very spontaneous. Like I went to an art school in Toronto. And my academy teacher at the time was like, hey, like, you know, you're already going to go to university for singing. You need to audition. So might as well just like go for experience. Like there's this Korean entertainment company that's coming to Toronto. Like just try it out. And I was like, okay, like whatever. And then I went and then I did it and they liked me and they're like, come to Korea. And I was like, okay, I'll go, I guess. And then I went (laughs) and I did like a second audition, third audition. And they were like, please come. And then I just ended up going. I didn't even like it. Like literally, I didn't even think about it. Like it just happened. And then now I'm here. What stage was the group at when you were there? Like were these guys already together? What oh, was it like? when I first came, these two were here, and no one else was here. Uh huh. And then there was like a whole bunch of other dudes. Right. And then like they were actually a debut team without me at first. Got so it. it was like they were supposed to debut, and like I was kind of like not there yet because I was a newbie or whatever yeah, yeah. but then like those guys like all like got cut or like left and then like I got in and then like even from there like a lot of like lineup changes and then like they came and then he came and, and I was like oh yeah, huge yeah. process like yeah, huge. there would be a lineup like it's, you guys are going to debut like this and then like a couple months later like someone would get cut and then a new person would come in or three people would come in and it would like continuously change until they feel like this is a good team or like this is good chemistry which is like a super honestly not an easy process no, because emotionally like, tra- taxing yes. yeah very yes. physically because like like this guy that i was training for for so long all of a sudden he's gone i'm like oh like that sucks yeah. <laughs> but um <laughs> but you know it happens and i guess it's like really everyone for themselves until you guys are really a set team wow. and there was a thing that they would say it was like until it doesn't matter if you film the music video it doesn't matter if you recorded the song it doesn't matter if you did anything as if you did not debut yet and if you're not on that stage yet matter. it does not matter it will change you can change some you can get kicked out you can be moved like you never know so it was like always like everyone on their a game and everyone's like just paying attention like doing their best yeah that's right. intense yeah. yeah intense so at what point do you know that this is the group and you can actually start to get to know each other and like form relationships that you know won't go away mm. 이제 이제 그러면 이제 항상 불안한 상태잖아. 이제 사람이 빠질 수도 있고 새로운 사람 추가될 수 있고. Mm-hmm. 그러면 언제부터 이제 아 우리는 이제 팀이구나. 같이 좀 서로 알게 될고 좀 믿음이 가져가고 이거, 이런 점이 언제 생기는지 궁금하시대. Mm-hmm. Well, I think it's the moment that we have our title song mm-hmm. to practice. Oh, me too. Yeah. 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 Title song. Get the get the song and recording and have some choreographies then mm-hmm. yeah when we practice mm-hmm. when we practice as a team yeah i felt like oh this is it mm. that our debut is mm. is coming coming yeah coming. right yeah definitely for us it was like that though yeah mm-hmm. was that siren 
Yeah, it was. It was. It was. Sorry. What a song to debut it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank, so you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Wow. What was it like putting that song together and creating that song? 어 그걸 작업하는 게 어떤 기분이었고 어떤 경험이었는지. Wow, it was so hard. Maybe. Um, it's it's our first song, and we very. 부담됐다. Mm, it was very burdening. Yeah, it is our first song. And and Jung Sub and me is rapper. We lyrics our song about our message. And this very 그게 부담감이 너무 커서였고 mm. 어떻게 잘해야 되나 고민 많았지만 mm. 이제는 좀 한층 선 성장에 오면서 mm. 더 많은 노하우가 생긴 mm. 것도. So it's definitely because it's our debut song. The two rappers here actually wrote the lyrics for their own raps and stuff like that. And so definitely trying to you know put in their own message and put in their own taste and their own twist into the song without making it sound like really bad because it is their first song if he felt like it was very burdening but now he's gotten kind of used to it but yeah i think it's burdening for all of us because yeah before that it was just all like we would just cover songs and like just practice other people's songs but now it's like my song yeah, it's yeah. Your story, our song your message yeah, right. yeah and so like to make my own sound and to make my own voice and make my voice stand out and make my you know music sound good to other people is not something you know to take easily or lightly so i feel like all of us were very right. at first like very nervous but yeah. very cool that you were able to write your own verses right because that's not something that is common mm -hmm. in any like it doesn't matter where you're making music right yeah you know? yeah to have that creative control is a big deal mm -hmm. exactly i read about your strategy on how you make music is mm -hmm. it still the same where you guys kind of divide and write your own verses and then mm -hmm. come back together there's a good we talk about the good ego 보셨다고 했는데 근데 우리 mm -hmm. 따로 이렇게 노, 놀면서 이제 같이 모여서 이제 한다고 했는데 아직도 그렇게 하는지 아니면 좀 방식이 달라졌는지 궁금하시대. Um, <웃음> we do like this sometimes. Ooh. He knocks something over oh with God. his car. <웃음> 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 well, we do like this sometimes, but we we made a different start with different way. Mm -hmm. Me and Kiho had like writing melodies, right. top lines, mm -hmm. and we do it together, mm -hmm. like humming. Is it right? right humming, yeah. humming. Like, mm, oh, this is good. Oh, let's go, let's go, let's go. And then record it, mm -hmm. like really, rush, rush, rush. Yeah, mm -hmm. Quickly, yeah, yeah, quickly. Because you know we don't have that much time. So when they're like, we need to make a sound. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Like even during tour or like even during other promotions, like me and Jing would sit down and we would just like you know punch out melodies like we get the track and then we just freestyle melodies and like just see what works and what doesn't so you're getting a tr you're getting like a production and then you're right. creating on top of that right yeah and we do have a lot of creative control over the track and the production as well and what we want it to sound like and what instruments we want and like what kind of sound we want and what kind of message you want to put in so we're very thankful that we're able to have that creative direction in our music do you have a set time where you create like do you schedule it out or is it just whenever you have free time oh whenever we have free time it's very spontaneous mm. like even during oh, i don't know if i'm allowed to say this but like even during on tour we're constantly creating stuff like we'll be on tour and then sometimes there'd be off days like we'd like land in a new new state and then for that day we wouldn't have anything like during the dinner time like me and him would in the hotel room literally just be like recording stuff mm. and sometimes the hotel rooms don't have good like acoustics. acoustics or like everyone can hear outside oh. yeah. <laughs> there's no Sound isolation yeah. so people are like can you please be quiet like it's loud <laughs> and so sometimes we have to like whisper and sing but definitely we are very just we try to be diligent and we try to like do it as much as we can whenever we do have time what were your first impressions of one another oh good question because i remember every single one i okay i'm not gonna say all of it because I, I i have one for every single one but tell him what about i'm not <laughs> okay, his first impression of me, he said it was I was the one that had like the, the strongest first impression. Um, he thought I was one hundred percent just Korean, and like he just really expected me to Korean be Korean. But as soon as like I started speaking English, he thought it was kind of like really like like oh he's such a show off like he's so like like why does he act like he's so good at english because he thought i was good i, I thought i was just fully korean ah. and they found out i was from toronto and he was like oh whoa plot twist yeah it makes sense yeah and so it makes sense too yeah i understand um for me it probably has to be it probably has to be um chiu oh mm. what? because 
I remember coming to the company the first time, and it's like in the basement of our company building, mm. and it's like the, where the trainees are practicing. And he was like sitting in the room, and he was like dressed super cool, like he was like sitting there like this, and he was like, <laughs> ah, whoa, and like ooh, and like singing. I was like, whoa, like this guy has like this guy's like super cool. Like I want to be his friend. <laughs> and I saw in the mirror in the window, and like he looked at me and he said hi, and he was like really friendly at first, and like I was like, at oh. First? I've, oh, oopsie! <laughs> no, he's friendly now. He's obviously friendly now, but he had a good impression to me because I thought like he was dressed so nicely, looked so cool, and he was like, like he just looked so like, you know, he had that he had the charisma. And I was like, wow. oh, you're you're gonna be my friend. I already know. Oh. And we found out we we're the same age too. So right, yeah, now we're close. We're very close. Glad to be in the same team. And Thanks. what was your first impression? Oh, him. Oh. Yeah, well. I'm not on I heard of him. I knew that oh, okay. someone's gonna come from Toronto uh -huh. and he's my friend, he's my, he's same, the same, same age, age with me. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Then, yeah, I was so look forward to it. I was looking forward to mm -hmm. it. You didn't look very excited to see me though. <laughs> no, I was, I was. Are you, eh? I, 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 but I'm, but I'm so, what is it? Oh, uh, he's very um, shy. Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 I'm a shy guy. Yeah. So, yeah, I didn't express that, Yeah. but. Yeah, I was so excited. I was so ugly back then too. <laughs> <laughs> like I was so horrible looking, and so I'm sure they were very surprised. Like, whoa, what's this? Like, who's this? Come up in here. Uh, but but he's good at so he's good so good at singing. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> okay. Like, right, whoa, right. I need to learn something from him. I want to learn something. Yeah. Thank singing you. Singing skills. That's not the now, first time yeah. hearing it from him. <laughs> <laughs> I try to be the best friend with him. Yep. Yeah. Friend. Oh, that's what's up. How old are all, uh, all you guys? Oh, shoot. <laughs> wait. More? Wait, wait, wait. In in American age? Wait, hold on. I'm 20. Wait, what's American age? Oh, you did oh. just cut off a year in Korea. Yes. It's cool. in Korean in Korean age, I'm 22. Okay. In, and in American in, age, I'm 20. Oh, wow. So you're... Oh my god, you're young. Yeah, yeah we're young. 2001. Well, what's Toronto age? What's that? You're born in 2001. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. Mm -hmm. 18. Six, what? Sixteen. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Are you sixteen? Yeah. No. What? You're sixteen? Oh no, he's uh, seventeen. 17. His birthday passed. Oh, his birthday passed. Uh, are you oh giving my me an God. American age or are you giving me a Korean age? American age. Ages yeah. are different. Yeah. Yeah. In yes. Korea, they like, there's like the lunar calendar uh -huh. and then yeah. like a whole bunch of stuff so yeah. like every january like every new year you gain an age and uh -huh. stuff like that so it's like different mm -hmm. yeah right but, yeah. we used to the youngest k-pop idol oh yeah in korea when we first debuted yeah. we were we were like the new record of the youngest yeah. k-pop group out mm -hmm. like because mm -hmm. we were so young <laughs> like i was like when we debuted i was 20, 20. Uh, 18, no no 19 19 or 18 yeah, 19, 19, 19. Right, uh, 19, 19, like 19. 15, 14, 15. No, no, not 15. 15, 15, uh, 15, uh, 15, 15, 17. 17. Oh my God, 17. <laughs> yeah, I know. But we look wow. pretty old, don't we? <clears throat> yeah, I mean. Not we, in a bad way. No, you look good. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. Thank you. Well done. But like also, <laughs> well done. <laughs> why? that's crazy. Because I, re I did remember reading that, that you did make history. But like, when you're young and on the scene, do you feel like you have something to prove? 음, 오, 이제 어리니까 뭔가 좀더 아, 사람들한테 다 무시 안 당하게 어리니까 뭔가 좀좀더더 더 잘해야 되겠다 뭔가 이런 협박감이든 아니면 이런 뭔가 좀 욕심이 있었는지 궁금하시대. Of course we do. I don't want to hear something like, oh, you're good as a child. Uh, you're good you're for good. your age. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I don't want to hear that. I just, I just hear, oh, you're good. 음, you're good too. You're good at singing, you're good at dancing, mm -hmm. you're good at rapping. Yeah, because a lot of people do say like, oh, like they're good for their age. Mm -hmm. But like that's kind of a backhanded compliment because oh, totally. it's like, like we want to just be good, not because like we're younger. Like we just want to be perceived as good at what we do. And so I feel like we had a lot. We actually did have that conversation a lot before we debuted because we we're like, okay, we need to make sure these people like understand that we're just good. Oh, yeah. Not just like because yeah. we're good because we're young. Was it hard to get respect from people because you were so young? 음, 인정받기 좀 힘들 어려웠어 어렸으니까. I think everyone thought about we we just cute, oh, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just because we were so younger, yeah. Then everyone 
thought about just we just cute yeah I I think about it yeah yeah everyone thought we're little cute little babies yeah <laughs> like, ang, 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 ang. I, but I mean we are we are little kids we are honestly yeah. but um definitely it was hard to kind of push away from the image of being cute especially when we're on stage and we went to show them like a like a cooler side or like a or like a sexier side or you know a darker side whatever side that we want to show it's kind of hard to disconnect that image if everyone perceives us as cute yeah and so yeah we definitely did work a little on that that's hard yeah I started my radio show from my bedroom like when I was 14 so it was like <gasps> 15 years ago what? wow so like you know, wow no, but seriously, we're actually huge fans. Like, we didn't watch it because we knew that we were going to come on the show. We just watched it genuinely because we wanted to watch it. Like, yeah. I saw Ariana Grande on here like four or five times. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. so many times. <laughs> and literally, right there, like, exactly where you're sitting. Yeah. Oh. Hey. You know what? The cat pillow is not out. That's yeah. a shame. Oh, no, it's here. Oh, it is? Okay. It is. Cool. I was oh, just sitting on it. Wait, let me see. That's on a branding. This. That's an aesthetic. Problem. Oh, yeah, okay. We need to show this. Yeah, that's wow. like that's more famous than me easily. That's awesome. Should I move to Korea? I feel like some days I wake up and I'm like, I think I'd thrive there. I think like yeah, I, I think, think the you would. would really like me. I think you would. Yeah. I think you really would. You have a very in Korean. It's called hogam, mm. which means just like like overall like it doesn't like like you just have good vibes that's like good aura. Uh -huh. You too, Dan. Oh, I appreciate that. You yeah. guys have Relax. hogam. Yeah. <laughs> Dan's energy is constantly improving. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no, for real. But it's like hogam. Hogam is a kind of vibe. Yeah, yeah. Thank yeah. you. The it vibes are there. No Truly. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I do understand. Like, what it what it's hard to like prove yourself when you're younger, but you also feel like you have a lot to prove, and also like there is like this blind confidence almost, you know. Mm -hmm. But yeah. uh, how do you maintain your individuality while still being in a group? Yeah, like because at the end of the day, like I do get the energy that you all are separate colors that mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. come together mm -hmm. to create mm -hmm. your art, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. that your art comes in so many different forms mm -hmm. in addition to music. Mm -hmm. So uh, how do you maintain yourself, mm -hmm. your sense of self, mm -hmm. and also still allow it to shine? Wow! Oh my God, that's a good question. Because. 다 같이 이제 뭉쳐 있을 때는 어쨌든 이제 피원함이라는 한 색깔이 보여주잖아. 음. 근데 우리는 항상 강요하는 게 우리는 그래도 개, 기, 각 개개인에도 색깔이 있다는 거지. 네. 근데 이제 그게 가끔 이제 헷갈릴 수도 있잖아. 그리고 내 개인 색깔을 이제 잃어버릴 수도 있을 때도 있고. 왜냐하면 음. 그팀 색깔을 너무 생각을 하니까. 네. 그래서 네. 어떻게 내 개인의 색깔이나 내 개인적인 이런 이런 것들을 어떻게 계속 발달시키고 어떻게 그걸 계속 보여줄 수 있는지 궁금하시네. Um, for me, like, like uh, in my free time, mm -hmm. and I brought uh, so many lyrics, like personal lyrics, and the personal, like I wrote a melody and the recording and the make a mm -hmm. hot like on song, mm -hmm. make a on song like the third mini time, like that's like uh, how can I like find my own style. Like mm. that's my pangbo. What is pangbo? Reason way. Ah, uh, way, way, way. Yeah, way. that's no that is my way. Like uh, make my own song. Uh, your what? My... Your own song. Uh huh. Oh, okay, song. okay, got you. Uh, make my actually, own song. we have our SoundCloud, mm -hmm. and we upload it. Upload our own solo stuff. Yeah, solo just, stuff. Just, yeah, what you guys yeah group. through there. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I feel like that's how we find our own individual styles and songs because we try to, you know make our own music at our own free time and also when we do make music together like when they write their own raps like they write in the way that they like is comfortable to them and same with the melody lines i write what i feel is comfortable to me mm -hmm. and we're all very different we also like very different genres of music as well mm -hmm. and so i feel like in those kind of ways we try to you know show our individuality especially when it comes to music when there's multiple people singing and the same song it's hard to distinct some voices sometimes but we try to you know show off like if i like r&b and jazz i like to sing in that kind of genre and like he like he's very rhythmical and pop and he's very ballad and very soft and so we try to you know highlight those parts in our music as much as we can so what was it like working with um pink sweats pink sweats on gotta get back Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very fun story i think chun can tell you actually that's unbelievable yeah <clears throat> he's one of my favorite singers and we covered his song. Yeah. What was it? Uh, Am I worst? Am I worst? Yeah. Such a great song. Right. Oh, sing that, 
please. Oh my God, that song is so good. Is that so good? <laughs> it is. It is. I need somebody who could. I'm oh, sorry. I think he said singing. I was like, oh, oh, that that was Thank you. That was nice. <laughs> that made me a little nervous about all that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like ready for more. Then we uploaded mm. the video, the cover video, mm -hmm. and he watched it. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Pink Sweats watched it. It's cool. And yeah, that's cool. he. Twit, tweet it? Yeah, he tweeted yeah. it. Yeah, and tweeted for us. Mm -hmm. uh, it's cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love you guys. Like, my bros. Mm -hmm. And I was like, is this real? <laughs> <laughs> is this real? Yeah. Like, is this him? And yeah, and then he came to our tour mm -hmm. in New York. Yeah. yeah. And we say hi and oh, mm -hmm. how's it going? Thank wow. you for watching our video. And I love your musics. And then how about make some something like yeah, yeah, yeah that we can. And he's such a genius. Yeah, he really, really is. Really. Like just being in the studio with him, like he's just like because he took all, he he did the directing. So like we get in the studio and he tell us maybe sing it like this, maybe sing it like that, and he'd sing it back to us. I'm like whoa. <laughs> this is not fair like the way you're singing right now is not so we actually he, Theo was very curious he's like did you learn to sing because we do like intense vocal training I was like did you learn to sing he's like no like I just like was I was like grew up in like a very church like foundation in how in like household so he would just learn singing just listen to singing at a very young age so he just like kind of just grew into it and I was like whoa like that's so not fair you know, the world is just not fair. He's just a really amazing guy. And we still keep in touch with him very often. He's coming to Korea for Jazz Fest, too. Yeah, right. yeah so we hope to see him when he comes to Korea. Uh -huh. When you guys get in the studio with him, how does the song start? Does he bring something, or do you guys bring something and just kind of work on it together? Um, he actually had a song for us. Okay, and he actually had multiple songs, and then we kind of just all listened to them, and like we kind of like discussed like what song we feel like would look sound good on us. And it was very, it was very spontaneous, too, this collaboration. It wasn't like a long and... Because we met him like kind of on tour, and so it was definitely not like, you know, we couldn't do it like very like with a lot of time. Mm -hmm. So we just went in the studio and was like, I have some songs like you think you guys would sound great on, and like we just kind of just like went from there. You talked about how Pink Sweats is like grew up around music, but half of you guys play instruments, correct? Yeah, we do. I mean, I wouldn't say we're great. <laughs> but you Definitely. Play. Yeah, we play. Like, I mean, I can put some chords. I can play some chords. Like, he's pretty good at the piano, right? Yeah. <laughs> you good? Convincing. Piano mm -hmm. <laughs> is He just said yeah, but he thinks he's taking it back. No, but he's pretty good at piano. He can play the piano, um, the guitar every now and then. Like it's not that great though. Like we, if you if you pull, give, give, give us a guitar, I wouldn't be able to play anything. I only have a ukulele. Yeah, I don't even know what that is. Well, no, I do, but like, <laughs> I don't know why it has four strings. I don't know how to work that. <laughs> it's too small for me. Yeah. I get it. Um. There's a question that we got from Twitter from a fan by the name of Sunny. She says, mm -hmm. want to know, how does it feel to have one of the best discographies of one of the most talented members despite only being young rookies? Ooh. Wow. Discography is now our music repertoire. We are now playing a rookie and now we're playing a rookie. And now we're playing a rookie and now we're playing a rookie. How do you feel like it's so good? I'm so proud of you. We're playing a rookie and now we're playing a what do you think? Okay, sorry. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, but honestly, I think we're very hard on ourselves because I don't like personally for me. I don't feel like that. Like I feel like there's always room for improvement. I feel like yeah, it's pretty good. But I mean, I mean, if you're enjoying it, thank you. But I feel like there's definitely better music that could be released. Yeah, we're always very eager mm -hmm. to make better music. Is that how? I mean, you're challenging yourself. Yeah, I mean, I don't. I think it, it's a thing that we say amongst ourselves, but it's like I feel like the moment you're satisfied with your work is when you stop improving, mm -hmm. and so I feel like we're always trying to find ways to improve. Mm -hmm. And like people are like, I I don't listen to our music. We didn't. We didn't listen to our music. No, me neither. Me too. Yeah, like we listen to it a lot when we have to practice and before it gets released. But after it gets released, we try our best not to listen to it. Like obviously, when we need to perform it, we listen to it. But like. Other than that, like, whoa, please don't play that. Like, I get in the car, <laughs> yeah. I get in the car with my mom, and she's like, do it, do it. I'm like, mom, please <laughs> skip this track. And she's like, no, I have to stream. Like, oh my God, stream. this is what I'm talking about. You get about. the royalties. I'm like, no, mom, it's okay. Like, please skip this song. Why don't you like listening back to it? I don't know. It's just like cringy, I feel like. <laughs> yeah, and like, because we think about you have to practice like 15 hours a day, like, dancing to the same song, singing the same song. Yeah. It's like, 
whoa, like I'd rather listen to like some different song mm -hmm. on my off time. I feel like, and you're also like drowning in the music while you're making it. Right. Like, I'm assuming you're listening to it pretty much on, like you're listening to your stuff before it comes out. No. Yeah. Yeah. Like all the time. Yeah. All the time. <laughs> Seriously, all the time. It's like so. Like, please turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, gotta get back with Pink Sweats. It's coming out May 26. We're gonna put a link in the description below to listen to all of their music, including Ooh. that song. But Thank you. Do it like this. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. You're releasing an English version. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What is that process like taking a song from one language and translating it into another? The English version that one, the, 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 번역이든 아니 번역뿐만 아니라 그냥 이제 영어로 바꿨는데 그냥 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 어. 난 발음이 너무 어려워. 음. 너무 빠르고 굴리는 발음이 많아서 그게 너무 어려웠어. He said Theo personally um, working on the pronunciation of the translated version into English was very very difficult because it's so fast. The music itself is so fast, but the lyrics are also so fast mm -hmm. in English, and so it was he had a hard time like recording it because. Obviously, English is not their first language, yeah. so yeah. Do you have to like break it down phonetically? Like, what's your strategy on getting it, getting it out, and making it sound clean and precise? 음 그럼 이제 발음 연습할 때 이제 어떤 방식으로 그럼 연습을 하는지 궁금하시대. 어 일단 너한테 물어봐서 그걸 들은 다음에 진짜 한국어로 하나 하나씩 다 쓰지 진짜 어떻게 발음하나 그렇게 외우지. Yeah, he usually comes to me or I go to him and then he's like, can you sing it for me? And so it's like, for example, um, to the whole wide world, like a mighty echo, like that. He hears me sing it and then he romanizes it into Korean. It's like, oh. so he writes it in Korean. He writes the pronunciations in Korean. It's like, to the mighty, like in Korean, so he can read it and like kind of understand it. That's really interesting. Yeah. Yes. And it works. Yeah. yeah it it's like how like sometimes people romanize Korean into English, he just romanizes the English into Korean. You know ABBA, they sing like Dancing Queen and stuff? Oh that, yeah. Their whole first album they recorded it phonetically because they didn't speak English. What? Oh? Yeah. They don't speak English? No, it's all broken down like like literally syllable by syllable. Really? Mm -hmm. Give that a googie, I promise you. Wow. wow. Who? ABBA, Dancing Queen. Oh yeah. ABBA, that band is like that. Oh yeah. Those people speak English. Oh really? So the first album, every single song, every single song, they do that. Oh, that's interesting. Wait, whoa! I did. I thought they were English speaking. No, they're Swedish. Right? Yeah. 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 Uh -huh. they've, they've done some good stuff for pop music. Dancing that's correct, right? Queen. I'm looking for some answers here. Yeah, give it a goo. Yo, that's yeah. crazy, actually. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's worth it. They, it's a hit. This is your first song that you're doing in all English. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Do you plan on doing more? Uh, 뭐 앞으로 계속 영어로 하는 싱글 나 나올 계획 있는지? Um, maybe. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> I mean, hopefully. I feel mm. like um, if our fans like it, but I feel like. K-pop fans like the Korean version more than they like the English version. Yeah, like right. that's the reason why they listen to K-pop to yeah, like, hear the Korean. Yeah. So I'm like, mm, like, I guess like if you want it, but I mean, I don't see like it's. I don't think it's like necessary yeah, personally. Totally. Yeah, I, I yeah. couldn't agree more. Yeah. Are the lyrics in the Korean version the same as the English version, or do you have to kind of rewrite them to make sense? Yeah, like, is the story the same? We try to say the same message, but obviously there's some syllables that like don't fit, and like some like. Pronunciations that just seem awkward, so we kind of switch it a little bit, but we try to keep it the same. Mm. Yeah, lyrics and same message. You guys are of another generation; like you are young. And yeah. I mean, BTS, Blackpink, they're all closer to my age, mm -hmm. which I'm a millennial. Mm -hmm. You're technically Generation Z. Right. So you know, there's a different process, different way of thinking, whole different, mm -hmm. not a different world. I mean, we're incredibly similar. Like, mm -hmm. no, no offense. Like, I walk so you all can run. You know? <laughs> And, oh, sorry. Oh, it's a day way too long. Sorry, that sorry. Was true. <laughs> sorry. Um, but I do find like you know, the world is different, and it's always getting uh -huh. different. And uh -huh. there's been so many top uh, conversations around K-pop mm -hmm. and cultural appropriation, right? On all sides, you of know. Course, even yeah. as you talk about like, K-pop fans, they listen to K-pop for Korean. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yeah. But have, have, is that? Uh, on your mind, cultural appropriation while you're creating, while you're oh, coming yeah. up with your look, while you're sharing oh your story God. with the world? Of course. Of course. Of course. Because um, I believe it's a responsibility. And I also feel like if you're going to have that big of a platform, you need to be able to 
respect and appreciate all cultures without appropriating them and so i feel like whenever it comes to you know our styling or like you know our music or whatever we it's always a sensitive and topic that we always have to think once three times four times about like and all in every step of the way like visually or like musically or like you know the language itself like obviously there's like ave and like whole bunch of other like cultural stuff that's like you know is very sensitive and so we need to respect that and i feel like it's a responsibility too so i feel like definitely it's something that we're always thinking about and taking action about and by the way do you think that like you seeing it as a responsibility allows you to continue to have a safe and accepting and loving environment at all your shows because the truth is like uh, k-pop shows are like nothing makes my heart smile stronger than going to a bts show or mm -hmm. a black pink show and seeing the variety of human beings no yeah that fill up a stadium no the yeah different lives that mm -hmm. like all converge mm -hmm. in this one place in this one venue mm -hmm. to escape and feel understood by music that mm -hmm. like is in a language that's not their native one right exactly like it's, it is the most beautiful loving accepting mm -hmm. and really heartwarming place mm -hmm. but i think understanding like the responsibility that comes along with it allows you to keep that environment sacred and right. safe and consistent you know yeah and i think it's very important and even just going on you know tour now it was just seeing the amount of diverse amount of people and you know seeing all the different backgrounds of people that are coming from all different places it just seems very you know it makes us glad and it makes us very you know humble and it's very an honoring experience to say the least because you know it's great to see so many different people and that's what i feel like is so great about touring because like every single place that we go like that's different like there's always different people and different mix of people and i feel like having that diverse fandom and seeing like all these all of our pieces be coming from all different places is just honestly you know, do you have a name fun. for your fans yeah pieces peace pieces. That's peace peace with a one in there, right? Yeah. Oh, peace. right. Yeah. You guys really did your research. One. Of course. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Kidding me? Oh, boy. <laughs> are you guys, I want to ask about uh, that tweet that you read. Are you guys still considered rookies? Yeah. You are? I think. At I what think. point are you not considered rookies? Because you've been around for what, two years now? Two years close, close to yeah. two years now. I think after we hit the two year mark, probably. Sorry, that light is just flashing. <laughs> you want to just like. Party. Skirt. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going. Why not, at what point are you uh, considered rookies? Um, I don't, I don't really know, but I think probably like after we hit our two-year mark, so soon. But um, I like the fact that we're rookies now, though. I'm enjoying it because mm -hmm. I feel like it makes us feel so like we're fresh and like we're new. Right. But um, I think definitely in our, in our when you hit our second mark, and you know it's very crazy because I pretty sure not a lot of people go on tours this early. Mm -hmm. And we're so honored and so glad that we we're able to go on tour this early, especially because of the pandemic as well. And we actually filled up very, very big venues considering it was our first show. So it was very, very honestly. Uh, like, we're just selling out shows. Yeah, it's very like we can't even like we get on stage and we see the sea of people and we're like, whoa, there's no way you guys like us. Like, what? Why is there so many people here? <laughs> like, literally, that's literally the first thing that I think of personally to me because it's like you guys like like us like <laughs> what like so that let's break that down one why are you why do you think people like you i don't know see that's the thing why I, are you surprised i don't know i like I, it's just like it's just like something i don't know i kind of like always have like this like you know but weren't you a k-pop fan before you became a k-pop star well yeah but like i didn't think like it would be like because like, i feel like it's also this it's because we're so not used to seeing fans in person maybe if we did more earlier on then it would be easy like we'd ease into it a little more but i feel like because we were so far apart from our fans and now that we're so you know interactive and like so close and face to face with them it was kind of just like whoa like there's actually this much people that are interested in us but because so, you were i mean is it is it accurate to say you were like a real you were a big k-pop fan right before you joined the group i definitely well the thing it's kind of hard to say because I had friends that were very interested in K-pop at yeah. the time, like especially because I went to an art school. I think there was a lot of people that were like into like, you know, like East Asian culture and like stuff like that. Not because it was like an art school, but just because like in the school I was in, there was yeah. a lot of people like that. And because I was Korean, 
I felt like a lot of people were very curious. And so like I kind of just naturally got into it. I honestly, at first, like when I was very like, you know how like all kids, like when you're like first born and raised in like, like a multicultural country. Like for me, I was very like, oh, I don't want to be Korean. Like I hate being Korean. Like yeah, you I want to very, just blend in with the other yeah, Canadians. Yeah, exactly. I was very like maple kind syrup. of, yeah, exactly. Maple syrup and like beaver <laughs> tails and stuff. But um, yeah, but I think originally I was like that, but then because I found Originally, my sister got me into it at first, actually, because she was into K-pop and um, she let me listen to it. And because of that, I kind of fell in love with my culture even more. And so just naturally through K-pop, I was able to kind of just go back to my own roots and be able to appreciate Korean culture and appreciate my roots and my blood more. And so I feel like, yeah, kind of. Pretty cool. Yeah, I feel like because I, I feel like all all kids that are like kind of born in a, you know, not in their like you know home country are kind of raised to like not really like their culture and be ashamed of their culture i feel like that was what i went through because yeah. every time i brought like korean food to school i'd be like oh like what's that smell like you know microaggressions and stuff like that and so i was kind of very ashamed to be korean but i think because of the fact that k-pop became such a big wave and became such a um you know outlet of representation i feel like i was able to kind of love my culture more and so i can't i can't say i hate k-pop i love k-pop yeah. I feel like it's the reason why a lot of Korean people can probably say they are Korean. So totally, yeah. And and again, like I keep saying this, but like so many people from the so many different walks of life mm -hmm. feel so heard and seen and understood by the job. Yeah, and so I'm we're we're very glad to be a part of that same wave. Yeah, and we're very glad to be a part of that you know wave of representation, especially in you know a place that needs to be you know in a place that Korean people should be represented and stuff like that. So. When you guys get on stage, what comes easier, the dancing or the singing? Oh. 무대 가면 노래 부르는 게더 쉬워 아니면 춤추는 게더 쉬워? Dance. Dance? 마이크를 쓰세요. 나 썼어요. 아 썼어요? Yeah. 왜? Yeah, why? I love dance. Oh, you like dance? Yeah. He's a prime is dancing, but he's an amazing dancer. Yeah. Like he's actually insane. Like he doesn't have joints. Like he's like always look. <laughs> <laughs> and so I, I knew he was gonna say that, but definitely dance for him. For me, singing. Me too. Right? Yeah, me too. Mm -hmm. No, Dancing? no, no. Mm -hmm. For me, Same. dance. Oh, really? Oh. Because we practice all the time. Yeah, but Every I feel like that's day. why it's easier. Oh, wait. Did you say what's easier? Yeah, like what comes more naturally? What comes easier to you guys? Want? Oh, oh, right. Mm -hmm. No, sorry. Yeah, I mean dancing too. Yeah. Yeah, so dancing. Dance. Really? Yeah. Because uh -huh. singing, like, there's so many on and off days. Like, you can never tell, like, if your condition's great or not. Uh -huh. And, like, some notes I'll be like, I'll sing, ah, and some days it'll sound comfortable and some days it'll, it won't feel comfortable. And so, like, you have to constantly always think, like, am I singing the right note? <laughs> am I... <laughs> That's a little like, distracting. Yeah, and, like, am I singing on beat? And, like, when you're dancing, like, at a completely different, like, pace than the singing. Like, for example, you're singing, like, ah, but your body's moving like this. Sometimes it's, like, confusing. It's, like, yeah. kind of doing this. Yeah. And right. so, and for every <laughs> venue, for every venue as well, that's where rehearsals is so important because every venue, the feedback oh, and the monitoring is so different. Mm -hmm. And yeah. you never really know until the audience is actually there because, like, sometimes the audience is so loud you can't hear yourself or you can't hear the music. Yeah, right. And so it's, like... That's terrifying. Terrifying. I would. I would. I would. I wouldn't do it. I'd leave. Terrifying. Yeah. I'd be like, okay, I'm done. I like, go <laughs> like, let's go. I can't even hear myself thinking. No. Bye. Exactly. So it's very. It's singing is. I feel like is very singing, rapping, whatever is. Something that you really have to think about. Dance is more easy. Yeah, because we're like practicing every single day. Yeah. Right. Like, we kind of get each other now. Well, to the point where like you could just do it without even thinking about the moves. Yeah, I'll uh -huh. be asleep and you'll play music and I can go up and start dancing. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it's just like it's just like muscle memory at this right. point. Please listen to their music. It is superb. It beyond deserves your ear. Thank uh, you. I mean, we've covered a lot here. Uh, Disharmony stand out. You should listen to it. Disharmony breakout. You should listen to it. We have obviously the Pink Sweats record. We have the. the we're, re-releasing in English. It's out. Oh, mm -hmm. it's out. I'm so sorry. Jeez, no, you're good. No, 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 no. Yeah, it is. I listened to it. Yeah, it is out. Sorry. It's all good. It's gonna, you have Stand Out, Break Out, Find Out. Yes. Is you, are you going to do another one with that or is it done with those three? It's I'm done. Like naming them that. It's done. It's yeah. done. It's done. Yeah. Disharmony's done. We're moving on to a different one now. Mm -hmm. we, oh. <laughs> Spoiler. Ooh, what's going on? <laughs> Yeah, I like the different chapters. It's very Thank cool. You. Mm. Yeah. It's the whole movie thing and like trying to like 
give our listeners and viewers, you know, a storyline and a, a story to just like kind of latch onto while listening to our music. I think it makes the whole experience more fun. One other question I had about Gotta Get, uh, Gotta Get Back. You said he played you a bunch of songs. What was it about that song that stuck out to you guys? It was um. Like the Pink Swiss, you didn't take the demo or money to let you just on a to let you on the car back, car get back away. Could you get out from KHS or Cochon and G? Um, mm -hmm. it was just like in my ear, it was like just the best song, yeah. like yeah. it was just really great. And it was definitely a song that we've never done before or tackled before, a genre that, we ne that we've never done. And so I feel like our fans would have liked that side, that new side of us, and you know. He's great. Like his voice in the track is amazing as well. And so we were like, yeah, we got to do this. Like this song is just amazing. Yeah. I hope you guys like it too. It's not out yet. Wait, is it, will it be out when this comes out? Maybe. I haven't um, heard it though. Yeah, we haven't got to hear it yet. Oh, you I really did? I really want to hear it. I listen to everything else a bunch. It's not out yet. I know. I know. I don't know if we, it, if we don't even have it. Wait, when does it come out? I don't know. Uh, I don't even know. What, to be honest, I don't even know what date it is today. 27일에 나와요? 18th? 26일. 노래는 26일에 나오잖아요. 26th? 이거는요? 26th. 이거요? It'll probably be up by then. It comes out on the 26th. Yeah. Yeah, May 26th it comes out. Oh. Uh, it comes out May 26th in Korean time, so probably like the 25th here. Cool. Oh, 20... Oh, it's just the 26th? Oh, 2 a.m. 2 a.m. on the 26th here. I'll be up. I'll Sorry. <laughs> Thank you, our team. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> No, but by the way, seriously, there's going to be a link in the description for all of their music. So just go there and everything, all the answers on how to listen will be at that link. Uh, we've covered a lot here, guys. We really have. Yeah. But yeah. I love speaking like this. I feel like this is so much fun. Yeah. Come back and hang out. I mean, will you please invite invite us? Yeah. I would yeah. genuinely come. Okay. Of course. You're invited. No, 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 no broken promises. I'll actually show up. Please do. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, I'm assuming wow. you're working on your next body of work, right? Yes. Uh -huh. Ooh, wait, As you've been, oh, am I like you, you've been recording on tour. You, you shared that. Yes. Yes. We are working very hard. There is like a, you know, the one thing with K-pop is they do get into a rhythm of releasing a lot of music, especially early mm -hmm. on in one's career. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Like you release a lot. But um, we're actually not like, uh, like on the faster side. We're kind of mm -hmm. on the slower side because like we've released one album like once a year so we released in 2020 and then 2021 and then 2022 yeah that's yeah pretty pr there's pretty much like a disc like there's a gap in between each release mm. but um we hope to come back more often though yeah and release more stuff what sets you apart from everybody else Ooh, good question wow oh, that's a hard question you know <laughs> I don't know. We don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like, really, like, honestly, we don't know. No, I what just is? feel like K-pop is such like a great and just a diverse and such a, you know, there's a variety of artists and there's new artists that come out every single day, you know? And I feel like everyone has like their own thing going on and I respect and love every single artist and I feel like mm. everyone is just so great at what they do. Right. And I feel like Pure and Harmony, just like, just like how everyone else is different, Pure and Harmony is just different too. Like, if you know, you know. You know. If you know, you know. Yeah. If you mm. like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. But you know, we're trying hard to, you know, touch all boundaries so a lot of people can like our music and, you know, like us hopefully. But what, um what does P one mean? P one harmony? Yeah. I mean I know I know what harmony is, but mm -hmm. what is P one like what does that stand for? Oh something? so it means plus one harmony. So it means that like us plus a certain variable, so that could be like um, I don't know, like music or like our fans or like well, you or you know Dan or whatever equals various amounts of harmony. So we have like very we have an unlimited amount of you know things that we could do and yeah. a limited amount of you know possibilities. Mm -hmm. That's the meaning. That's beautiful. So hopefully we can show a lot of different sides of ourselves so that you know we can stand out. And so I mean we're still finding our sound. You know we're only three albums into our career. Mm -hmm. So. EPs, not albums. Yeah, they are. They're not even full albums. Yeah, so it really is just the beginning. Yeah, so we're really just trying to find our sound. You know, and I hope our fans like it. We hope you guys like it. It's working out so far. Thank you, right. Dan approves. You. That's Thank a big you. deal. Like Dan, Dan does not. Thank you, Dan. Win. I like the music. I like the dancing. I like the outfits. I like the hair colors. I like. Thank you. Wow. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Which hair color do you like the most? Yeah. I mean, it's hard not to pick against the blue. Dude, the turquoise Ooh. is really. Oh. Okay, let's right. Yeah. Is it Here. like a turquoise? Yeah, right. Turquoise. Seafoam green. Yeah. Um, like a like a gr greenish, bluish. Uh huh. Yeah. Seafoam. Yeah. You're yeah. seafoam. 
Give it. Give seafoam gooey. Seafoam. Seafoam. What is seafoam? I don't even know what a seafoam is. <laughs> Anywho, P1 Harmony, listen to their music. There's a link in the description waiting for you. Can you whip up seafoam? This is what seafoam green is. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, that's yeah, pretty close, oh. right? Wow. Now, now whip up turquoise, just so they can, you know, decide okay. the difference. That looks like mint chocolate. Yeah. 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 <laughs> mint chocolate. And it's the worst thing to ever go out, like, the six of us together, because we cannot go out together. <laughs> what, you learned, like, like yeah, the you hair. Out. Like, it's so, like, it's just, like, so... so it's turquoise. I mean, which one? Oh, no, it's seafoam. Seafoam? Definitely seafoam. Yeah, seafoam. Seafoam. Definitely seafoam. Whoa, how'd you get that on dot, though? That's wow. exactly his hair color. Uh-huh. Yo, I knew. Really. You should try it. I should. You know yeah. what? I've been thinking about dyeing my hair for a long time. But you it's a, should. It's a lot to maintain. I'm doing my nails, and that's like enough. Wait, can I see? Yeah, my nails are sick. I'll show you later. Like, I do crazy nails. Whoa. That, oh, I my love God. It. Dude, they're, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're all hand-painted, too. Whoa. Yeah, you did them yourself? No. Oh, wow. <laughs> Thanks. Wow. Thanks for thinking I the did The fire myself. thing is really cool. I just Thank saw you. that Godzilla, yeah. and I was like, whoa, this dude's mad creative. So I felt like maybe you oh did God. it. Oh, my God. So great. I wish. Well, I, did, I, I, curate, I say I curate them. Like, mm -hmm. I pick what... Uh, my lady puts on them, mm -hmm. but she like it takes four hours. It's a whole four thing. hours. <gasps> it could be three. It, oh, it's it, an investment. It yeah, it is, but it's an investment once every three weeks because the truth is like, and I get the yeah because they grow out and stuff, mm -hmm. you know. Wow. Like I, I always wanted to dye my hair, but then I also think like it's like a lot of it's an investment. Mm -hmm. Investment. Then maybe you should do like a color that you don't have to bleach, like maybe a red. Like a uh, cherry yeah, red. Casual. Yeah. Uh -huh. Let me yeah. just dye my hair cherry red. Yeah, yeah I think you would look good. Really? Yeah. yeah. Genuinely. Or like a oh wait, no, your hair is brown. Never mind. But a cherry go red. Cosi foam. Yeah, go see foam. That is exactly see foam. Yeah. Anyway, P1 Harmony, please listen to their music. Link in the description below. I thank you guys so much for giving us your time and energy. Thank you guys so much. Thank you so much. Thank you, Zach. Thank you, Dan. Thank you for having us. Hey.